Is your dynamic search campaign running, yet it's not getting any impressions, let alone clicks, and therefore not spending any money? It could be due to three possible reasons, which I'm going to talk about in this video, and then obviously show you how you can fix it so you can get your dynamic campaign up and running and hopefully delivering results. If you like this video, don't forget, hit that thumbs up icon and subscribe. So let's go do this right now. So here we are in a live Google ad account. I've gone straight to a dynamic campaign. And as you can see here for an entire month, it's only had one impression, no clicks, and therefore obviously no spend. But the problem is zero, basically zero impressions. If you're not sure what a dynamic campaign is, I'll put a link in the video description to a video I have on that. But essentially, you don't bid on keywords. You give Google a landing page or, or your entire website. And based on the content on your website, it will decide what keywords to bid on. So the first possible reason why your dynamic campaign might not be getting any impressions is because your location targeting is too narrow. So that basically means that no one in the location that you have selected has, you know, searched for whatever content is on that page. So one possible remedy would be to increase the location targeting. So if I show you in this account, if I go to locations, you'll see here I'm targeting all of the United States. So that is not the problem that is going on here. The location targeting of targeting all of the United States is definitely not too tight. So we can safely assume that that is not the cause for our lack of impressions. Second possible reason why your dynamic campaign might also not be having impressions is that the page you've given it doesn't have enough content on there that Google kind of knows what to show your ad for. OK, so if I show you the landing page that we're sending this traffic to, which is our retargeting challenge, which is a course teaching people how to run a retargeting campaign on Facebook and on Google. If I have a look here, we can kind of see that actually there is a lot of content on this page. So I talk all about uh, retargeting as testimonials. I talk about the content. So all this content really should be sufficient for Google to know what actually I want my ads to show for. And therefore, I really don't think that this is going to be the problem for our lack of impressions, be it a lack of content on that page. But that is possibility number two. Possibility number three is due to a bidding issue. And if I have a look here, I can see that I have an, uh, I'm doing manual CPC bidding. If I go actually into this ad group, you'll see here that it is a bidding issue. So I put two different URLs, the exact URL of this, as well as the URL that contains challenge. And you can see here that it's telling me I have to bid at least $15 for a CPC in order for me to get an impression. So therefore I need to change my bid strategy to either bid more if I'm doing manual CPC bidding or change my bid strategy to one of the automated bid strategies where Google will decide what to bid for. So how do you do that? You actually should do that at the campaign level. So I'm going to go up a level and then I'm going to go to the settings. And then we'll see here the bidding section here. It is manual CPC. So I want to change the bid strategy here. And then I want to click on this and choose either maximize clicks, maximize conversions, uh, maximize conversion value or target impression share. If you're unsure about which bid strategy uh, that you should choose, it kind of really depends. I'll put another link to the video, to a video I have on that in the description. But really, my suggestion would be to be maximize conversions. And if you still don't get impressions with maximize conversions, then go to maximize clicks with the intention of graduating from there to maximize conversions and ultimately target CPA bidding. OK, so there you have it. Those are the three possible reasons why your dynamic campaign might not be running. If you like this video, don't forget, hit that thumbs up icon and subscribe. And maybe you can check out my website, teachtraffic.com, for more information and our training courses. Thanks for watching.